Well, you're in the middle of a, a difficult run. Has it affected mor morale in the dressing room? Uh, no, our spirits are still quite high. Um, it might be quite surprising to yourselves, but we know um, we're not that far off. Uh, obviously, we've had a, a very difficult run of late, but um, we've been working hard on the training field and we hope if we can put a few things right, then there's no reason why we can't go on and get a positive result this weekend and hopefully turn it around a bit. On a personal level, how have you found it stepping up and playing on a regular basis? Yeah, obviously I've enjoyed uh, playing the last three games. It's been good to get some minutes. Um, and I feel like my general play has been quite good. Um, sort of think I've helped the team, but obviously I, I kind of have to put that to one side and we're looking to win games and say I'm want to try and get on the score sheet as soon as possible. Um, so if you any strike, I could tell you that. So the sooner I can do that, the better. But obviously, we want to make sure we can get the points on the board as soon as possible. That's the main thing. How significant is it for you for you to, to start getting amongst the goals? Are you one of those strikers that when you get one, that they're sort of coming in a batch? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> That's the aim. Um, I think any striker, obviously, their confidence builds on goals. And I'm, a, I'm exactly the same. I'm hungry to do that. And... I just need to make sure I'm getting in the right positions and hopefully hopefully that'll come. You know Mike Phelan from your days at, at Manchester United, how is he finding it at the moment? Because it, it must be quite difficult for him. Yeah, I think it is for everyone, but um, obviously he's been in this, in this position a lot of times before, maybe not as the manager, but he's been in and amongst it and I'm sure he's dealt with situations that might have been a lot, a lot worse, a lot, um, and he knows the solutions to get out of it. Um, He's been putting his ideas across to us and he, he knows where we need to improve. Um, so we're obviously now just trying to, dis to display that and, and get, the re get the results that we need. Has it been difficult with all the, the backroom changes? Losing Stephen Clements, Gary Walsh has gone this week, Neil McDonald uh, mm -hmm. has come in. How's that impacted on the yeah. um, Obviously the, the staff has been quite bare the last couple of weeks um, and they, they helped all the lads a lot the first couple of months in the season so it has been a loss. but. Um, we know that the, the manager's trying to sort that out as soon as possible and so we brought in Neil McDonald that's been, that sort of stepped in straight away and he's been really good. Um, took a lot of the training sessions already so all the lads are, are pleased to have him on board and we sure he'll make a good impact. Is there still a strong belief in the dressing room that you can climb away from the relegation zone? Yeah, I mean, it is, it's still quite early days and we've got a great bunch of lads, there are a lot of experienced players who have been in these kind of situations before and they try to keep obviously the morales high and we know that we need to sort out a few things but there's no reason why if, if, if we can get maybe get one win on the board that we can't go on a bit of a run and before you know it spring up the table a little bit. And how do you view the, the game this weekend? Southampton are having played last night they'll be on a, a big high after yeah. that but could that work in your favour? Yeah you never know I mean it's a massive game for them as well um, they've been on a great run as you said they had a really good win last night and they've been playing well in the Premier League as well so I think obviously they probably got a bit of momentum, so I'm sure it won't affect them too much. Um, and obviously a lot of clubs have to deal with the midweek games now, but we just need to focus on ourselves and, and make sure we're ready. I was just thinking, uh, Will, do you feel at the moment the only kind of luck you're getting is bad luck because things like the deflected goal yeah. at Watford, suspensions, injuries to key players, is there a sort of feeling that you're only getting bad luck at the moment? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but obviously then you have to make your own luck, as they say. Um, and we hope that our bit of good luck is not too far around the corner. Um, but yeah, last week, see Dorse has came back into the team and he's been really solid. And um, he brings that bit of leadership and calmness to the team. And so he had a great performance and then one bit ba uh, bad bit of luck and obviously he's cost us, cost us the game. But that's just unlucky and so we're hoping to turn that round. And if we keep doing the right things, we're, ho we're hopeful that we'll get that bit of luck next time. You've shown already, particularly in the early months of the season, the togetherness that's in the side. You know, in a sense, you need to recapture that, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's it's quite easy. Maybe at times when when you when you are winning, it, it tests you when you're losing. And so we're definitely on sort of a bad run now. So we make, need to make sure that we we stick together um, and we sort of work for each other. And I think we're doing that. Um, and we just need to keep believing that if we do that, we'll we'll get the right rewards. How difficult is it to? To stay positive for you, I mean, in particularly in your career, you come here. I mean, how difficult is it to to keep positive? Um, to be honest, not not very hard at all. Um, it's my first experience playing in the Premier League, and I'm see the results haven't been going our way lately, but I'm still enjoying it and relishing the challenge. It's it's a long season, and 
Um, we just need to obviously keep working hard and I'm sure that the wins will come and then obviously the confidence and, and morale will get better and better. Thank you. Another defeat though this weekend would, equal, would be a new club record in the top flight for this club. Mm -hmm. um, how determined are the players to avoid that unwanted record? Yeah, obviously we're desperate to get a win as soon as possible. Um, I think if you look at our fixtures over the, the first couple of months, if we'd probably come out of that with maybe 10 points after 10 games, probably a realistic um, achievement for us um, and we're still on track to do that um, but yeah, obviously we want to kind of stop the drought as soon as possible and we, we've been working hard to, to make sure that we can cut out the errors and so we want to do everything to get the three points. Has the move lived up to expectations so far in terms of the amount of game time we've been getting? Yeah, I mean, obviously I, I know you have to be patient and it, the manager's brought in five, six players the last couple of days of the window and Obviously, it is competitive for, for places, and we've got a big squad which the manager needs needs to utilise. Um, I understand that, as every other player does. Um, and you have to earn your eye in the team. So, so we've not been on a great run. So the manager's maybe been changing it here and there. But I just need to keep working hard, and hopefully, if I can, like you say, get on get under the score sheet as well, that might help me keep my keep my place. At the age of 23, does it finally feel like your career is starting now? Yeah. Um, so this is what I've been working towards sort of my whole career. Um, I think if any players playing in the Premier League, they'll, they'll be happy with that. And I just need to make sure that obviously I'm getting this opportunity now, but I want to do everything that I can to, to stay here. And um, if I can keep putting in good performances, hopefully I can stay in the team and get a good run.